Hey guys, my wife and I was working on this C10 truck that belongs to Tim Dixon at Gas Sax Chop Shop. He's on Facebook. I hope you check him out. This is day two of working on this C10 truck, the Silverado, one I drove home. And uh, I noticed the top of this truck, I, when I was waxing it yesterday, it had some uh, flaking going up, with, going on here with the paint. So my wife and I yesterday went to go get something to eat after we got a shower from working on this truck all day yesterday and picked out some paint that we thought would be pretty close to the right color from memory. And uh, we picked out this color. It's a bright, I'll, I'll show you the can here in a minute. But anyway, we kind of daubed up all these places to keep it from rusting and trying to hang on to the paint as long as we can. And, it, you know, it don't look too bad. I mean, Tim stressed to me to act like this was my truck. If this was my truck, this is what I would do. Just kind of daubed it up and filled in some of the gaps and everything because wintertime will be coming on. I don't know if Tim's going to put this in the garage or keep it outside. But uh, the rest of the paint looks really, really good. And I don't want it to start spreading as far as uh, the paint cracking and chipping off and this, that, and the other. So... I might go over it just a little bit more in some spots, but that's the best I can get it. Okay, I'll show you some more things that we're doing on the truck today. Hang on just a minute. Okay, uh, as I said, my wife and I have been working on this truck most all day today. And uh, if you'll remember yesterday, I put some Gorilla Glue in some of these spots. Can you see down in here? That's what I glued to, the little clips. And it's held on pretty good. I've took the tape off. And I noticed when I was waxing the tailgate that uh, this was real loose too. So I went ahead and Gorilla glued it. That way when you go down the road it won't be, might accidentally come off. This, these pieces are in really, this truck's for, fixing to be 42 years old. And it's really in very, very good condition. This is anodized aluminum. And just look how shiny it is. Now this... This needs some shining. It's hard to clean up anodized aluminum. What I do to make it look good temporarily is get WD-40 and put on it. But that's just me. But uh, look how good this looks. Anyway, there's still wax on here. I haven't got all the wax off. I'm still working on this truck. And it'll probably be another day or so. Still got wax all over the side. I got to get off. I had to kind of quit waxing because my wife is doing this right here for me. She's done these emblems, and uh, she's working on these emblems, a Silverado that goes on the front fenders of a 78 Chevy truck, and uh, she's already, this is supposed to be, best we can tell, uh, by looking at emblems on uh, eBay and stuff, these emblems right here, these Silverado emblems for these trucks, 1978, are $98 and some change. So my wife and I, we always try to make things look like it's got some life in it. So this is what we do. She, she got some gold uh, marker, colored all the letters, and around here. And now she's in the process of uh, finishing up with black. So I'll show you what she's got done in just a second when I walk around here. Okay, here it is in the sun. I hope you can see it. But she's not done yet. She had a phone call. So this is what she's doing. And then we'll clean it up a little bit when it's all good and dried and make it look pretty good. Best we can. Where it looks like it still has some life in it. I guess you can tell I haven't waxed this fender. I've waxed the hood a couple times and the top. Uh, we took off this uh, strip of, uh, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, it's supposed to look like wood grain. This is the original wood grain that's on it, right down through here. Uh, my wife and I yesterday, as I said, we went out, got something to eat, and we went to the store, and we got some of this uh, contact paper and stuck in here, and to me it looks pretty good. We, we tried this right here at first. We had this... Where'd it go? This section right here. Had this section right here in here like this. 
it didn't really look like wood grain to me and the thing is when you used this piece if you wanted the wood to go this away you'd have to cut like three maybe four sections of this to get it to all fit into here and I didn't want to have little uh, places where they joined up because I'm, af I'm afraid they would roll up and start peeling back off so we we just went ahead and I told her let's just go ahead and make it look like this and to me this looks pretty good I, I actually like this better when that piece of contact paper was on the other side to me it looked like it was just brown and uh, I didn't really care for it I like this much better kind of gives it a little bit of a uh, wood grain look there too I like that it looks good anyway uh, what else have we done today uh, let's see my wife's still been working on the insides of this truck believe it or not and clean the windows on the inside and uh, I got to noticing these uh, headlight bezels they've got little holes in them and I was wondering why they painted this silver in here when it's supposed to be black. So I got to thinking, you know, back in the day, people used to get those uh, uh, plastic, I forget the exact name you call it, but they put them on their headlight bezels and try to make it look like it was dark, you know, tinted, whatever. The whole thing would be just covered in plastic. And I think that's what those holes are where they have mounted that uh, plastic piece, you know, tinted plastic to make the headlight, you know. And they, I figure they might have painted this silver to try to make the headlights when they did, when they actually needed headlights to come on, it would make it a little bit brighter, the light, I mean. So I didn't really care for those holes being there. And I was going to take these off and repaint them black because I, I just don't like that silver. Whoever done this, I, I believe was in charge of painting the dash silver here. It's supposed to be black as well. And if I can figure out how to take this, I, I know how to take it out. It's just a matter of can I get my hand up in there to get it. But I might try to take this bezel off or, you know, might let Tim try taking it off. I don't want to break anything. I don't have an extra bezel or anything, so I'm kind of hesitant about doing something like that. But... Anyway, I've, I've got these headlight bezels, and I have painted them uh, flat black. I was trying to kind of match up the grill a little bit, but I painted them flat black, and I'm going to clean them up and all the excess paint and stuff as soon as, it, as, soon as I think it's dried good enough. And uh, I, put, I put these on in place of these. They don't have no holes in them. They do have some uh, pits. And uh, some chrome flaking that this one doesn't have. This one doesn't have very much chrome flaking, so I, I don't know which one to go with. If it was mine, I would I would use this, but I don't know. I'll ask Tim which. You know what? I don't know. I I would just go with these. I'm trying to show you. I just don't like the holes in the headlight bezels. To me, that would make me wonder. You know what? What is going on? But uh, anyway, that's what we're doing today, waxing, waxing. I've done the, the wheel wells, and I wound up using a, a, a Krylon on the wheel wells instead of the stuff that Tim told me to use on the, well, I don't know what I've done with that stupid can. But uh. Anyway, uh, I guess I put it up. But anyway, I used Krylon Flat Black, and that's the same thing I put on the headlight bezels, but I went around the wheel wells with it, and if Tim wants me to, if Tim wants to put it up on a, his lift, I'll be happy to paint the frame and everything, but it looks pretty good to me. If it was my truck, I'd be happy with it, but, you know, it's all up to Tim once he gets it. But uh, anyway, uh, today also I told Tim about getting some new tail lights, and they the same ones like I put on my '84 Silverado. It's in the garage here. But uh, anyway, you can see how much better. Wait a minute. 
I'll just show you. Sorry for the racket. See how much better these taillights look compared to those? And it'll really make this truck pop once you get the new taillights in. That's 42, nearly 42 years of being out in the weather and everything. And it's pretty dull. And these taillights that Tim got that I suggested he get, which he did, he ordered them today, uh, were $23.08. Free shipping. I don't know how they do that, but uh, this is what I put in this truck, and they work really good, and they kind of make the whole truck pop. Makes it look like it's got some life in it. So I'm pretty happy with it. I, I think he will be too. So that's where we're at. i got to get this wax off and get busy. Still working, working, working. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. Appreciate you watching. And if I have something else to tell you later, I will. When Maybe when my wife gets the emblems done, we'll kind of go with, I've got to, I'll shoot you a video of that. Hang on. Okay, guys, I've got this setting up here temporarily. You can see, uh, I'm trying to show you both of them at the same time. The silver that somebody has painted that is not correct or the black. I just I just like this one better because there's no holes. I, every time I look, I see those holes, and uh, I just rather have this one. But when I take this truck back to Tim, as my wife said, we'll just take both sets, the silver, and I'll put the black on. And if he'd rather have the silver ones on, I'll put them on for him. And uh, let me let me tell you right off the bat that uh, uh, I'm not a professional detailer i'm not a professional i'm not good at too much of anything so i'm just doing this i'm acting just like tim told me to do uh act like this is my truck so some of y'all might like the silver better i don't know but i just keep looking at those holes so i would rather have this myself but anyway in some ways this is a little rougher than that but at least there's no holes that's not supposed to be there Okay, let's see what my wife's done on these emblems. I think they look pretty good. I like it real well. They would uh, really be real expensive to replace the, these emblems. As I said, they're $98 and some change. And I uh, just want to make it look like it's still got some life left in it. Anyway, we're in the process, or my wife has a taken wax off that I put on earlier today. I, I couldn't take it off because she was painting and I didn't want to mess up her a hand being steady. So that's where we're at. Okay, I'm going to finish putting these on and I'll give you a heads up here in a minute. Okay, guys. Uh, it's been a while. I, I don't know how many hours it's been since I had this on, but I got the headlight bezels in. I remember I last I was doing that putting headlight bezels in I got those painted and put in like they're supposed to be and uh, I put the other ones that was in here that was silver I put them in the passenger side floorboard so if Tim doesn't like these uh, I can easily put his back on and uh, going to have to order one of these uh, turn signal lens the lens itself is broke which means this chrome piece won't fit on there. So I want to see if I can find one of those. Uh, maybe a nice used one on eBay or something, maybe. As I said, Tim, had, Tim has already said he was ordered the new taillights for it. So my wife and I finally got this truck waxed. All waxed. And uh, just look at it. I mean, this thing's a beauty. This paint i mean we went over it and went over it and went over it and it shines like a new penny right now and i'm real proud of that wax the bumpers i mean we waxed everything we waxed trim rings we we waxed everything and i'm most proud of what my wife done here now my wife done here on this silverado emblems she done a really good job i'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up on it tomorrow just just to go over it just real lightly and make it look uh, like this is the way it came. Nobody's never touched it. 
If you had a red Silverado, it would still be this color, by the way. It just so happens that the Silverado is real close to being this color, but it's actually supposed to be a gold color. So it looks really good. I'm real proud. Of She's got a lot more patience than a... I guess I drink too much coffee or something because all, I'm always shaking, but she's always dealt with little kids, so she has a lot more patience than I do, and that's maybe why we get along so well because I act like a little kid most of the time, but I tried that new spray on the tires that Tim told me to try that was his, and boy, I really like it. I'm going to have to ask him where he got it and get me a gallon of it. I put it in a empty spray bottle that we had that I knew would spray good. If I get a spray bottle that sprays good, I keep it because it's so hard to find one that doesn't tear up before it uh, actually gets emptied out. What else have we done? Oh, my wife and I finished putting this uh, contact paper on here on both sides and it, it looks really good. I really like that. My wife has worked some more on the insides and trying to get this steering wheel to have a little shine to it she's she's worked really hard and uh well i have too to be honest with you sorry i should have told you i slammed the door i apologize if you had earphones or whatever you call in your ears uh what else have we done wax the whole truck as i said uh uh went over the wheel wells with krylon paint and uh, I got this all, this piece here that I said earlier I, gor I gorilla glued. I got it all on there and let it sit on there for hours the, with painter's tape and finally got it off and it stuck on there good so there's no chance of it coming off anytime soon. I have took a magic marker. Don't pay no attention to this. I'm going to clean it up tomorrow. I just, just got done painting these letters black. And I'll clean all this up tomorrow where I have missed a little bit. There was, I'm telling you, I'm getting neat up with mosquitoes and those things are just following me around. So I'll do that in the morning when it's good and dry, make it look good. Uh, as I said, we've done the bumpers. We, and the wind is inside and out, everything. And I got to tell you, this is a really, really nice truck. Really nice truck. I, I like it a lot. But, uh. I know it don't look like we've done much maybe since yesterday, but I'm telling you what, we've been at it all day, both of us, all day, other than to maybe get a drink of water or something. We've been right at it. And uh, tomorrow, I'm going to see about maybe doing a little bit under the hood as far as cleaning just a little bit under the hood. I raised the hood. Uh, well, I raised the hood earlier. I'm not going to do it now, but... Uh, to put to make sure the headlight bezels was on good and tucked up in there like they're supposed to be and uh in case you're ever wondering how to shut one of these square body hoods when you get one open when you go to shut it just push back on the hood push back and shut the hood and it'll shut right up and you won't have no uh, uh cracks or big old bulges like Dookie does. Dookie has big old bulges right here that somebody has fixed best they can. But uh, this truck is in really nice shape. But if you have a square body or if you're thinking about buying a square body, uh, like in the 70s especially, uh, these hoods are really big. So like I said, you get it open, when you start to shut it, just kind of put your hand here and kind of press forward toward the windshield and shut it and it'll shut right up real good. Uh, anyway, got to get a another uh, emblem for the grill because this one didn't have one I don't think and uh, my wife's going to contact him about that so we'll find out what the verdict is on that but ain't she pretty I mean really ain't she pretty the emblems to me instead of being so bland they look really good I'm sorry I got the shakes I'm hungry and thirsty but uh, they look so good Really, it really makes it pop in the black matches the trim it just it just all goes together really good and so does this emblem here the the corner uh cab corners uh trim it looks really good with this truck this is a really nice truck and as i said i've got this piece right here in the glove box i i just not i have not 
had any success putting trim on with these little wires. I always wind up breaking the wires and and my patience is sometimes kind of thin too so that doesn't help. So it's best I just let Tim fool with that or Corey that works with Tim. Corey has a lot of patience too and I just don't have it. So uh, kind of like Clint Eastwood, a man's got to know his limitations. I forgot where that was, what movie that was from. But anyway, one of y'all will probably tell me. Man's got to know his limitations. Anyway, we're going to call it a day. And I'm awful glad to get this thing waxed. Until you waxed one, hand waxed one, over and over and over, you don't realize how many acres of, <laughs> how many acres of wax uh, truck this is. So, but I got to tell you, all the effort was worth was worth it look how this thing i mean golly look how good it shines it, it's a beauty but i'll finish this up tomorrow i got some more things i'm going to do to this truck tomorrow and if you're interested stay tuned and i'll try to get this truck back to tim as soon as possible but uh i just think it's turned out really good i'm real proud of it and i'm proud that my buddy tim has it hey thanks for watching i appreciate it thanks for listening to me I hope this has been kind of entertaining and uh, to you a little bit. And maybe you learned something new. Maybe you can tell me something. If you can, that's okay too. I'm, I'm an old dog, but I like to think I can learn new tricks. Y'all have a good and appreciate it. See you next video. Bye.